Another of the Twin Cities comedy scene, and tonight Scott Hansen is dead at the age of 66. Yeah, his daughter says the local comedy legend passed away Sunday afternoon after battling a number of health problems. But as Maury Glover shows us, his legacy of laughter will live on. Nicholas Gold, can we get her Nicholas Gold and put it on his tab? <laughs> For decades, Scott Hansen tickled Minnesota's funny bone. <laughs> Now one of the founding fathers of the Twin Cities stand-up comedy scene has gotten his last laugh. My dad was suffering and we just all have a lot of um, comfort knowing that he's not suffering anymore and that he's in a better place. Hansen was one of a handful of comedians including Louis Anderson who created the local comedy scene in the late 70s. And over the years, no one did more to help it thrive through a series of comedy clubs and by mentoring young comedians than Hansen. When you think about Twin Cities comedy, a lot of names jump to mind, you know, Louis Anderson and Liz Winstead because they were great performers. But in my opinion, I think that Scott Hansen will go down as the most important figure in Twin Cities comedy history. Patrick Strait literally wrote the book on the history of the Twin Cities comedy scene. He says by bringing nationally known comedians like Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno to Minnesota, Hansen helped local comics hone their craft and build relationships that would help them take their acts to both coasts. Scott Hansen truly was a Twin Cities comedy legend. And what I mean by that is not just he was very funny and he was very memorable, but he did things for Twin Cities comedy and created this comedy scene in a way that wouldn't have existed otherwise. Hansen's daughter says his health had declined over the last few years, and six weeks ago he went into hospice care for heart, liver, and kidney failure. But she says his love for the comedy community he was a part of for most of his life will live on long after he is gone. The angels in heaven are laughing a little bit louder tonight. Maury Glover, Fox 9.